All right, let me talk a little bit about how to catch suspended out fish out here on the Gulf with a hair jig. Now the hair jig I'm using here is a Fusion 19, three quarter ounce hair jig. But the nice thing about it, it's got a five aught really stout hook on it. So that's what I need for these bigger fish. I added on a shrimp here. I'm double hooking it through the back there. But I got a shrimp on the back. And what we're looking for is suspended fish. I've uh, looked at my active target. There's a bunch of suspended fish just off to the side of us here. Now those could be amberjack, they could be American red snappers. I've caught a uh, uh, big uh, permit doing this. Uh, if it drifts down far enough, you might even catch a big grouper. But basically, I'm just throwing it out there and letting it drift through the water column. And I'm seeing a lot of fish down there at 30, 35, 40 feet. So when I think it's drifted down about that far, then I just start making little hops with it and feeling for the, for the bite. Now, I, it's amazing, these big fish, a lot of times with these jigs, you don't get a real hard, powerful pull. It's almost like a little walleye. They'll bite it like that. A lot of times we just gotta get it down to the right zone here. Keep bouncing it. So you're actually letting it drift down, but it's every once in a while, it's kind of hip hopping down there. It's kind of moving around like a shrimp moving. Doop, 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 doop. And I just keep doing that. As it's drifting down, it's drifting towards the boat here. But once it gets down here somewhat close to the boat, I'm going to get a little bit more aggressive with it. Instead of just letting it kind of drift and go, once it comes down here and gets kind of tight, then I'm going to start getting at a pretty good, pretty active jump to it. Not, not as aggressive as, say, a shiver minnow, but you're going to hop, let it drift, hop, let it drift, you know? All the time feeling for that little bit of a, a bite down there. Actually getting here in here further than I was hoping. There he is. Oh boy, did he hammer that thing. <laughs> I almost was about to reel up and recast, but he must have been following it. But a lot of times it's those little, oh boy, those little changes in, in uh, just your pace or your cadence or that drifting down, changing the depth. And then all of a sudden it just pops and hops a little bit. The aggressive fish out here look for that stuff. It looks like a wounded fish or a hurt bait fish and they get all over it. So this one doesn't feel too bad. He just, just about ripped the rod out of my hand actually. So it wasn't that little light bite I was talking about. <laughs> that one I could sense. But again, the key is, is not, not to reel too much not to really even work it at first too much, just letting it drift through that water column kind of gets their attention. A lot of times they're following it. And then when you get it a certain distance back and you start giving it little hops, those little hops might entice it. When you get almost down below the boat like this one was, then a little bit bigger hops to really see if there's one behind it, get them almost mad at it to try and get them up. So a little torque on this one, see if we can get them up here. He's not a mega one, but the same thing will happen. Big little, any fish will bite this. Like I said, if it gets to the bottom, you can get grouper, snapper. Just amazing. It's hard for that shrimp to make it here. Yes, all the way down. So, in this case, it's an amberjack. Nice, impressive fish. And like this. And there you have it. Fishing with the hair.